What's up guys? Sorry about this. This is Airbores here. And uh, as you can see, I'm using my new camera. Um, as promised, it's my new system that I bought today. But before I get into that, I just want to say the reason I got this system was for my brother because we worked together. We were at work yesterday. And where we work, there's a computer tech department. And they were recycling some old computers. So my brother just joking around was like, well, Hey man, if you guys have any Commodore 64s, uh, let us know about it. My brother here's a gamer. And he's like, well, I have Commodore 64 I'm looking to get rid of. And so, needless to say, my system's a Commodore 64. But just a big shout out for my brother, man. Thanks a lot for, you know, helping me get this. And uh, he knows I've been tracking one of these now for a while. Just never found one complete. And uh, so, the guy took us down to the his shop, his computer shop. And wait till you see all this stuff. So let's just get started here. Um, here is the whole system. It comes with a monitor here, and then the keyboard, and then this. I guess that's the actual PC engine, PC part of it, the computer part of it. Um, it also came with the original box for the keyboard, which is sweet. This is actually the second keyboard. I think I came with three keyboards. I'm showing you guys everything. I just want to show you how I have it set up so far. Now, I can't turn it on yet because I'm missing an S cable. That's the only downfall of this whole thing. Missing the S cable that connects from this to here. So I'm going to have to run the uh, Radio Shack, hopefully if they even have them, because this is a pretty big S cable if you guys can see. This is huge. So if they even carry this, I'll be lucky. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to try to get there before the end of the night. Alright, here's the original instructions on how this all goes together for the Commodore. Which is really, really, really sweet. Okay, um, here's just one of the milk crates came with. This is just this box here. It's just all like computer stuff. Like for this stuff here is all sealed. This is like different like operating systems and whatnot for the Commodore. Here's some printer, ink, ribbon, which is funny because it came with stuff for the printer, but I didn't actually get the printer. Not that I even really necessarily need it or want it. Um, here's a history of the Commodore. So that's pretty cool. And that's just a bunch of like different operating systems. Okay, and now let's get into the games. First off, we got it's called GameWare. It has Touchdown 10 pin on it, uh, Pac Man, Moon Patrol, Video. Duzzle? No, vid duzzle. It's like a video puzzle. Uh, I don't think that's still sealed. It's just the plastic wrap on it. Uh, Axis success assassin. Whatever that is. Um, the last gladiator. See, it's weird because some of these boxes are completely different. These these cartridges are. They're not even cartridges. They're disc. Hard hat Mac. Here, I'll show you real quick what they look like. In case you guys never seen one, it's like really soft. This is the game. I think no, it's inside this. It's like an old floppy disk. You know, inside here is the game. So yeah, Let me put this back real quick. Okay, here's a championship golf game. Fast load, that's the cartridge that's actually in my keyboard. Popeye. This guy kept all of his stuff completely 100% clean. I can't believe how clean it is. Uh, Coco Notes. This is a fishing game. Uh, some baseball game. Star League Baseball. Uh, time Bound. Jet Combat Simulator, Frogger, Wheel of Fortune, 
And last but not least, fish, fish medic. Yeah, medic. So, that's my Commodore stuff, but it gets better because here's another keyboard that came with, like so. This box is actually the keyboard that I have here, and this box right here still has the original Commodore um, keyboard. So all this stuff, we've got the monitor, the one keyboard, the box keyboard, this, uh, I guess the actual PCU, all this software stuff, all the games, and the other box with the keyboard, more games, and actually it came with this Atari case for Atari games, which was pretty neat. And uh, all this stuff wasn't bad at all. Rami, 50 bucks. That's all I paid for this, $50. Granted, the only thing I need left on it is an S cable, but hey, you know, I got a Commodore. I'm sure it's not a big deal. If I can't pick it up at Radio Shack, then I'll order one off the line or something. Now, uh, I got another quick question for you guys. If anybody can help me with that Dazzle situation, like I said, I bought the Dazzle that supposedly only could record off of a video camera. I don't know if there's like a software that I could use for it or something. Like if I gotta go buy a software, that's the only problem. But the thing is, is like whenever I'm trying to record, it's only recording myself. Like my webcam's coming on, and I keep I don't I don't know what I gotta do. So if anybody out there has experience with the Dazzle, please uh, PM me, and you know we could get together and talk, like on uh, the chat or something. And so I could, if you guys can help me figure it out, or just leave a message or a comment or anything. So uh, yeah. Thanks again for watching. Uh, like I said, I just got my new camera, so the room tour I'm going to try to do tomorrow because it's getting a little dark here and the lighting's not as great as I really need it to be for some of the systems and stuff. So yeah, thanks for watching. Herbors out.